Good morning, art friends. Welcome to Art 101 with the Painted Cicada. My name is Tara Lynn Pugh, and I am a mixed media and acrylic artist. And uh, this year I decided to go back to basics and revisit all of those fundamentals of art so that I could rebuild uh, my toolbox and have a better understanding of uh, all the little uh, bits and pieces that make art wonderful. So um, each week I go live at 1030 on Tuesday for Art 101 and we do uh, a little bit of learning and a uh, free demo. So this week uh, we're talking about tints, shades, and tones. Uh, we've been working on color for the last few weeks, which is, um, there's so many different facets to learn about color. And so I've really had fun uh, kind of coming up with ideas and playing with that. So like I said, today we're talking about tints and shades and tones. So um, here is a really good visual explanation of hues, tints, tones, and shades. So tint, tint, shade, and tone are ways to change the saturation um, or colorfulness of a pure color. A pure color is known as a hue. So you'll see here at the top, those are all of the hues, um, which is just complete saturation of a color, um, unmodified pigment. Uh, when artists talk about hue, they're describing pure color. That's color with no white, black, gray, or any other color mixed in with it. It's just pure color, um, the colors you would find on the spectrum, or if we're talking about art, it would be the pure pigment that we're using. That is a hue. So hue is the pure color. Tint is any hue plus white. So um, oftentimes you'll think of pastels or um, it, it's just a way to lighten the color. It desaturates the color with white. That is a tint. A tone, um, when artists talk about tones, they're describing a hue mixed with gray. So tones are desaturated colors using gray. And you can see when you look at the tones, they're very, um, you know, when we're talking about desaturation, it really uh, makes the color more subtle. Shades are any color, um, any hue mixed with black. So it's a way to darken the color. And then uh, when we're talking about monochromatic, um, monochromatic paintings, typically we think of black and white, but monochromatic literally means one color. So a monochromatic color scheme is a piece of art that's made of one hue, so one pure color, and it shades and tints. So it, um, using all the, the vocabulary that I'm referencing, um, the hue for this image would be green. That is the pure color that they've modified in many ways to make this painting. Um, and you can see that <clears throat> there is green mixed with white in this painting and also green mixed with black in this painting. Um, so it's got shades and tints of that one color. And this is a monochromatic painting, um, all done in green. So that is our sample today. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and move into my demo. Um, I'm going to paint, uh, I think I'm going to stick with my botanicals and I'm going to paint uh, in turquoise today. So let me remove this.
Thank you so much, Brandy. I hit unmute like four times and did not realize it didn't work. <laughs> All right. So I've got, uh, what I've done here is I'm using turquoise, mixing up a dark turquoise, and I'm just going to create with this demo um, a leafy botanical painting using turquoise. I'm going to start with my darkest color and I'm going to work my way lighter as I work through the layers. So if you are going to paint with me, feel free to use any color you'd like, but I'm working completely monochromatic. So I'm using turquoise and then white and black to make my tints and shades. So right now I've got turquoise mixed with black. So that is a shade. An easy way to remember if it's a tint or a shade is um, if you are in the shade outside, you are in, uh, you're out of the sun, you're out of the light. So we're, it goes darker. So shades are darker, tints are lighter. Tints are gonna be your lighter colors like your pastels. All right, so this is nice, deep, dark, saturated shade of turquoise. And so this was turquoise mixed with black. And I am feeling just a nice dark leafy pattern today. So I am going to work with a liner brush, which is the long thin one. And I've got a small round. And I think now I'm going to go right into this turquoise. I don't want to do too many dark colors. So I'm going to move right into this turquoise, which is fairly dark on its own. So I'm just going to add in some lines, which will become my branches. And I plan on adding several layers. So this is my darkest layer. This is going to be harder to see on camera. It's actually kind of hard to see with my eye, but it will add lots of depth to this. So this is my pure turquoise. Once I have those lines on there, I am just going to add in some leaves to these branches.
And as I start to layer, it will become easier to see on camera. Now because these are my darkest vines, what I'm going to do is just come back through with a little black and just add just some variation in that color so these are nice and dark. So still working with that same color palette same monochrome colors, just teal and white and black. And this whole painting will be done just like this. All right, so I do not continue to pull up the darker color as I get lighter. I'm gonna dry this layer quickly. Right now this should be mostly dry and I'm going to start mixing up some tints. All right, so my first tint, I really want to be close to the pure color, the pure hue. So I'm not gonna go real light with it, but you'll see a big difference when I put it on this painting, just adding the tiniest bit of white really changes this color. And 
so again, I'm going to start adding some thin vines. Here's my dog, always trying to say hello while I'm doing a live, just in case you missed him. It's been a whole week since he's barked on camera. All right, so here's my second layer here. Come on, dogs. Tuesdays is not the best day for me to do a live just because we have people who come in the neighborhood and cut grass every Tuesday. And it just so happens to be the time I plan my lives. So it might be wise if I change up the time. But for this month, 1030 on Tuesdays is what I had planned. So right now everything is still pretty dark. I'll probably add two or three more layers to these vines and that'll really, um, you'll really begin to see the depth of it. So 
little by little, we'll get lighter and lighter. And it will cover up a lot of what I've painted. And so it's really a lear been a learning process for me not to be afraid to cover up layers. Um, sometimes we cover up beautiful things, but, you know, in nature, in reality, things have layers and things get hidden and covered. It's no different when you're looking at a flower garden. You don't see everything. The flowers sometimes get stuck behind other things. So now I've got this, um, the first tint done and I'm just adding in some pure turquoise just to add some variation. All right, so this is the color I just had. I'm going to add a little more white. We're just going to work lighter and lighter, adding more and more layers. I need to add more paint. And really, I'm just repeating this similar design as I go lighter. All right, so again, I've got this lighter tint and I'm just going to add a few more vines and I'm going to have my vines, you know, they're kind of coming in from the right here, but I'm going to have them in all different directions. And these first lines that I'm sketching in are, are just that, they're sketches. So I can come in and refine these shapes when I fill them in. I'm just kind of playing with the placement here.
And so now again, I'm just going to fill in these shapes. with this tint here, and then I'll add some darker lines in just to vary it up. But I've really been loving turquoise, so I've, I'm enjoying this painting. There's so many different ways you can play with monochromatic color scans. So um, I encourage you to give it a try because they really can be pretty and they can be powerful. Um, just using one color really limits um, the distraction. And so it really puts a focus on the design elements other than color which is kind of fun. Because you almost, um, it's a weird thing. You almost focus on the color more while focusing on it less, if that makes any sense. All right, so just coming back through and adding a little bit of color variation in there. All right, so now I need to add more white, make a lighter color. And we're just going to keep working our way up. I'm thinking maybe two more layers will be good. I'm using these golden acrylics, which are amazing, but they're very highly pigmented. <laughs> so when I add my white, it just takes quite a bit to lighten that.
All right, so back to my vines. Good morning, Glenda. Hi, Gloria. Glad you could hop on. So yeah, I'm just creating lots and lots of layers with these turquoise shades and tints and just kind of playing with the layered effect here. All right, now filling in these shapes.
It's really quiet in here. I'm not good at filling <laughs> the space with talking. Sometimes I just get into the zone, but I am still here. You're not missing any instruction. I'm just filling in these vines with a lighter color. Um, as far as the design goes, it's really just creating layers and lightening the layers with these tints, adding white and just lightening them, and then creating more and more vines. That's all there is to this. And then just like before, once I get my vines where I like it, I just add a little bit of zhuzh with a darker color. I do this for two reasons. I really like the variation in color, but also, you know, I don't want to see any transparency. So coming back through and just adding a little bit over the top really helps with that. All right, I think I am going to add one more layer of lightness and then I'll be finished. All right, so for this, I can put the straight white on there and then add the teal to it. And that will give me a much lighter color. Gosh, I might even need to Lighten it again. I really want it to be close to white, but not white, you know? Right. I think that's a nice mix there. So I'm just going to come back just like I did before and add in my lines.
This is so light. It almost looks like white, but it is not white. And we will add white highlights to show um, that difference as well. I know sometimes these demos take a while, but I just encourage you, if you've been inspired at all by the monochromatic color palette, that you just give it a try. You can use any color that you want, any subject. You know, you certainly don't have to do vines. I love vines and botanicals. If that's not your thing, try it out with what you do love. Try it out with hearts. Try it out with flowers. Um, whatever you like to paint, just give it a go. Sometimes um, creating and working with monochromatic colors is really just a nice way to shake up um, your creative flow. You know, sometimes it's hard to come up with an idea. Just pull out an old painting, look at it, look at something you've done and say, how can I create this um, in a monochromatic color scheme? It's kind of fun to play with. Right, so I've got these all these different levels of turquoise here, and now I'm just going to go in with some straight white. And just add some little oops, fun little lines right on top of the slightest tint to just really show that there's color, the difference between the white and the turquoise, the lightest turquoise there. And that is it. So this is my demo today. I encourage you to play with monochrome, uh, whatever that means to you, whether it's turquoise, um, whether you layer, however you want to do it. I just encourage you to give it a try. It's a fun way to look at painting a little differently. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about complementary colors. So I'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel.
I'll see you there. Thanks for joining Art 101. Have a great day, everybody.